All right, today I wanna to show you guys this tool called Update Hub. This is a free and open source application. Using this app, you can update all your Windows softwares in one place. And in my opinion, every Windows user should have this app. There are many reasons, like for example, we download many softwares on our PC. Some have auto update feature when you uh, open the app, if it has the auto update feature, you'll get the update and you just update the software. Some don't have, even if all of your softwares have a auto update feature, you don't use all of your softwares at once or daily. So to get the update, you have to open the application and then you'll get the update. But using this app, you don't have to open any app. You can just go into the app section, check for updates and it will update all your Windows softwares in one place. Like for example, I don't remember last time when I used this software called CapCut, also SCRCPY+. I use this software only when I need to mirror my phone to PC. Now I know using this app that there is a update available and I need to update them. And there is a security reason too. Uh, like for example, if you go to the uh, official GitHub page of uh, Update Hub app, uh, Dev says, why is it important? Outdated applications can bring unwanted security threats. Like for example, a couple of months ago, Google Chrome forced multiple vulnerabilities. These includes the following. You can check out uh, those things by yourself. And I think I don't need to explain this any further. You guys are very really smart. Yeah, you already know what's up, right? Uh, I need to update the Krita and SCRCPY+. I think I used Krita just yesterday, but I didn't get the pop-up of like there is an update available. I think I have to manually go into the Krita's check for update settings. I don't know, but I do remember I used Krita just yesterday. So I need to update this. So I'm just going to click on update and it will just download the update and then just install it. Now, if you're wondering how does this work and all that, this actually uses a Winget. If you don't know what Winget is, you can check this thing right here. Yeah, just pause the video and read it. So basically, this is a feature in Windows. Using this, you can uh, install softwares onto your system. And this app uses that feature to update most of the uh, Windows softwares. Okay, so you can see uh, my Krita application is successfully updated and now I can just close this. So this app is simple, clean, and in my opinion, again, a must-have app, all right? And there is one more thing I want to show you guys, the honorable mention. So this is called Winget UI. This provides the Winget's user interface. Using this app, you can download all the uh, Windows softwares. Let's say I want to download 7-zip. I'm going to just search for 7-zip in here. And you'll see that I already have a 7-zip uh, installed. So basically, I can install softwares using this plus I can also update softwares using this. So if you need to download plus update the softwares, uh, maybe Winget UI is better, but it will be a little bit heavy on the system. Like uh, it uses Winget, uh, uh, Scoop, Chocolatey and all that. And this makes this program a little bit heavier compared to the Update Hub. If you just want to update your softwares, maybe Update Hub is better for you. It's simple, clean, and lightweight. So Winget UI is also a good alternative to Update Hub. Now, whichever you like, you can use that, okay? In my opinion, if you just want to have a lightweight, just a software updater application, Update Hub is better. And both applications are open source and both are actually great apps to use. That's it, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.